Hi everyone, today I want to show you what's new in Hangar 3.6 and for this release I've worked a lot on the fairings. We have two hangers of this type, the box fairing and these bullet shaped aerodynamic fairing. And what fairings do, they host a payload, a single payload and uh, only in editor and they well, like stock fairing, they mean to shield it from aerodynamic forces and so on. And then they provide you the activation through staging. And when you activate it, they spawn the payloads and while doing so, open themselves and well, disintegrate into debris. But uh, what is different between hangar fairings and stock fairings and side from that uh, aside from the fact that they actually spawn the vessel inside, uh, they produce actual real parts parts as debris. These debris are persistent. Uh, if you leave them lie on the surface of, say, moon, they will remain there until uh, harvested by debris uh, cleaning algorithm. Uh, and why it is so? Because the fairing hangers are resizable and they may become quite heavy and the fairings uh, thus contain a lot of mass which if you play in modded uh, setups you may harvest for resources for example and overall this is more realistic. But in some uh, cases, this may be undesirable. And for such cases, I have added the auto destruction uh, feature. So now you have in the fairings part menu, you have this timer, which if set to some positive number, th these are seconds. Uh, will cause the debris, the produced debris, to simply explode. Uh, this includes the pedals and the base, if and only if the base uh, re uh, remains the single part of the vessel. So if it is attached to something, it won't explode. But in this setup, uh, nothing will be left from the fairing hanger only pa the payload will remain. So let's launch it and see how it goes. Like this. So the payload was launched and all the debris were destructed, were exploded. Okay, let's see what more there is. And the second new feature of fairing hangers is the jettison power. This uh, part menu slider allows you to control the force with which debris and the payload are launched from each other. So let's say let's say you want to perform some precision launch. You have some well satellite without much thrust uh, that you want to place exactly uh, here in this orbit so the orbit we are on now it's of course artificial so it has well let's just remember the the figures 186.7 hundred and fifty meters of 
apoapsis and periapsis is almost the same. And let's lunge normally at first. So this fairing will accelerate the payload to three to additional three meters per second along its path. And depending on the weight of the base, uh, this will result on different relative velocity. So currently we have almost 13 meters per second, but that is because the base flew away in the opposite direction. But Oh, it's quite a bit of information, but so a perhaps is <sighs> ah, I know I have to. Yeah, that's right. So we have a perapsis that was moved here and uh, periapsis and the apoapsis became quite a bit larger with the additional uh, punch the fairing provided. So this may be undesirable. Let's see what we can do about it. Let's again check the orbit. And now let's simply set the jettison power. Oh no, let's let's set it to some some value and see what it will do. So the lunch became quite so uh, a lot more softer and the apoapsis is moved uh, not as much. But then we can set it to be simply zero. This won't mean that the petals, the debris won't fly away at all but this will result in the zero relative velocity uh, between the base and the launched vessel. So this becomes quite delicate. but we have almost the same orbit. It of course won't be exactly the same because the vessel inside is spawned anew and well, that's too complicated a process to exactly have the same orbit. Uh, after all, this is another vessel. But that is as close as you can get to have the launch that doesn't affect orbital parameters. Okay, let's move on to the box fairing. Uh, this one received uh, a lot more attention because it had some problems. Uh, I have changed the model, uh, not the look of it, but uh, how it is um, 
how it's made internally the colliders and all so uh, let me find it here yeah Okay, so first of all, I have decreased the jettison force a lot, so the debris won't fly away with enormous velocities, especially in the low gravity environment. So by default, this now looks like this. Like Then I have rebalanced, as you can see, the debris now look uh, a lot more different. And they are physically balanced, so they act uh, a lot more naturally. Then I have removed any additional uh, torque, uh, torque on the debris so they won't rotate uh, as much as they used to be. Oh. I, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go to tracking station <laughs> and find it. So now you can also use the box fairing safely to launch something in orbit. You won't get the you won't get the debris colliding with each other and uh, exploding the payload uh, as it did previously. So they flew away uh, strangely because uh, because of the suspension of the wheels. This is a rover, and the wheels are spawned in a compressed state, and the rover is spawned almost. exactly at the surface of the base of the fairing so on the floor actually and then it just kicks the floor with its wheels and then you get your usual unity physics
let's decrease the force of the jettison. So quite smoothly and softly. But of course this is a simple test because this whole thing is small and weights and is not heavy but then I have another box that weights about 700 tons and have inside the well a contraption with uh, more than a hundred parts let's switch to it and oh do i in this save yeah i'll have to launch it again Okay, so the the sound we have just heard is another feature I have added, uh, which is the ground anchor that auto attach itself to the ground as soon as the hanger has ground contact. So this is quite handy when you drop something like like it uh, to the surface. Uh, from from afar so okay first of all let's launch it right here uh, also as you can see there are some maneuver thrusters here and some antennas uh, they all will be decoupled and jettisoned away before the fairing will launch its payload uh, three seconds before actually Okay, so now you can launch even this kind of contraptions from the box fairing and it will sit quite well on the base if you desire so. And the base, mind you, has the, the anchor enabled so it won't move. And yeah, the payload weighs about 500 tons. Okay, 
you can of course lower somewhat the jettison power and enable the auto destruction just to see what will happen That's even smoother. So you can launch it and then it will explode and the payload will remain in place. And as a final test, let's launch this thing on the moon to see how it, uh, how it will go in low gravity. So there's a bit of a slope here and well, let's see. Twenty five maybe percent. So so it's not to launch this whole thing into the sky. Okay, that's it for this release and thank you for watching, enjoy our hangers. <laughs>